Hello guys, welcome back to the next video where we are solving the IAC specimen question paper for 2023. If you have missed out the previous videos, do check out the entire playlist from the description box below. And if you don't want to miss out any future videos, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. In this question, number 12, we are going to solve the common size balance sheet. Okay, let's see what do we have. Some of the information are missing we have to calculate based on our understanding of the balance sheet so first item given is shareholders funds let's put that here under equity and liabilities 14 lakhs non-current liabilities are not given current liabilities are given 2 lakhs and if you see here total of equity and liabilities are given which is 20 lakhs Right. From here, we can easily calculate our non-current liabilities. Okay, that comes to 4 lakhs. Liability side is done. Let's move on to the non-current assets. The next item which is given, which is 15 lakhs. Again, current assets are not given and even this is not tallying up with the total balance sheet total. Here also we have to calculate the current assets. So that will be straight away. 20 lakhs minus 15 lakhs is 5 lakhs right having done this now we have to calculate the percentages and as you know in common size balance sheet the balance sheet total is taken as the common denominator in all cases so in that case the percentage for this will be 14 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs into 100 70 percent Similarly, 4 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs into 100, which is 20%. 2 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs into 100 is 10%. 20 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs into 100 is 100%. Similarly, 15 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs into 100, which is 75%. 5 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs into 100 is 25%. And again, 20 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs into 100 is 100 percent. So pretty straightforward sum. However, if you are able to catch the missing information, it's easy and three on three is secured. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, do let me know in the description in the comments box below. We'll catch you all in the next video with the next set of sums that we have. Thanks for watching.